so cities are always changing. You can see this particularly in London. There are cranes everywhere, buildings coming up, old buildings coming down. So it's very challenging to try and keep pace with the ways in which they change. People that live in cities bring change with them. They're perhaps the most important part of cities, not the buildings themselves, but the way people live in them. The majority of the world's population now lives in cities. They're becoming very important platforms, especially for studying circulations of capital and people. The things that we perhaps screen out in cities are some of the most important things. And photographs can bring them really up to the surface and make them visible and open to comment and analysis. Human relationships, relationships between people and places, those things become accentuated if you like. Things that you would pass by get slowed down and captured and you can think about them later. It also makes you think about what things underlie the kinds of images that photographers could take about the city, what must be true for that image to be possible. I sometimes analyse photographs of cities, but mostly I work with photographers who are making photographs of cities. And so we work together around particular research topics. We might be looking at crowds, we might be looking at uh, buildings, we might be looking at festivals. Usually it's, it's to come at a, a research topic from two different directions. I'll be working with a photographer on the project on the super rich. And I think he'll capture some of the surreal elements of Mayfair life, of the kinds of extreme wealth and the dressing up and the posturing and the carnivalesque aspects of it, which I think will say something about the ways in which those people live.